Hey, Snickerlicks back today. Today we're back with Zubuntu 1204 Beta. Yes, the first beta that's come out to Zubuntu. Now, as far as I can see so far, this has been installed, by the way. As far as I can see so far, there's nothing going wrong. Everything's hunky-dory and working lovely on this beautiful dual-core machine as I'm using here. Although, I did have a few problems before installation and after installation, but I'll come back to that in a second, okay? Right, okay. Well, we're quick to our menu up here. Some of the, the icons have changed, as you can see, and they look very, very nice. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Nothing's changed in the last alpha, really. Nothing really to, for you to look at, really. It's going to be all the same. Well, I will say, it booted a lot faster, and things are working faster. So something has gone right for a change, hasn't it? So anyway, multimedia, get the usual you would do in Zupan 2. And you don't get LibreOffice, remember, you get Abbey Word and GNumeric, although you can install LibreOffice, but I'm not going to bother doing that, because it's only the first beta. It's just under two months' time before the, first, the real release comes out, the proper release of Zubuntu 12.04, long-term release. So, you know, I'll just wait until then from now on. But as you can see, it's all here. Synaptic is here, the software center is here, and everything else is here. If we go down here, some of the icons have changed slightly, but it all just works and gets a bit snappier. Right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go to the web first, just to check it out, okay? I'm gonna wait a minute for my web to open up, and here we go. So if we put in Ubuntu 12.04, and we'll see what comes up. Alpha review, don't want to help to blah, 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 blah. Ah, there it is. We'll go to the Ubuntu site. Right, okay, it's the beta one. This is one we're using, released yesterday, saying like that, anyway. Yeah, day before yesterday, whatever time in the world it was, but it's been released. As you can see, there's not much change whatsoever, but it just works, okay? Works. There's lots of GTK3 fixes for the Grey Bird theme, which I really like. And that's about it. Now, known issues, it says, uh, it doesn't allow you to access the network management interface. Well, worse than that, okay, worse than that. I've tried it on three, three machines, one virtual, two real. One of the real machines, I couldn't get it to go to on the network whatsoever, so that was a bit bad, really until after I installed it. A false install. I ended up getting the um, alternate installation of CD and that worked okay and once it's installed and you update it, try and update everything, it seems to work. On the other machine, it works straight away. In a virtual machine, there was no network either. So the only way around that was to go into your settings of VirtualBox or whatever VMware you're using and change them around and then you can get it to work hunky-dory super duper. But on the whole, Zubuntu's on track to be good and I like it very much. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.